The, the satellite is uh, the UR spacecraft. It was launched in 1991 to study the upper atmosphere. It's um, about the size of a school bus. It's six tons. It's, it's one of the largest spacecraft that NASA has had re-enter uncontrolled in about 30 years. This was a super, uh, a super project. Uh, UR's was really the first spacecraft to really understand the to begin to study the, the ozone in our upper atmosphere in a very systematic way and to do the earliest climate measurements. It was really a star of the, of the Earth Observation Program. Our latest estimates are that it will be coming in, uh, re-entering on Friday. And, but as we get closer, uh, we expect to maybe, maybe able to fine-tune that a bit. It's difficult to be precise when the object is not behaving. It's, it's tumbling in ways that we can't control. Because it's an uncontrolled spacecraft, we can't control how it's tumbling. So if it tumbles in such a way that perhaps the, it presents a, a larger area, it may come in a little faster, or if it orients itself in such a way the, so it produces a, or it presents a, a lower profile, it might come in faster. It turns out objects about this size re-enter from other sources, other countries and, and, and other, other places, uh, about once a year. So it's not terribly unusual, but this is the largest NASA piece in about 30 years. This is not a reason to panic. This is just, we want you to understand what's happening. It's of the order of one in trillions. So it's a very small number that any, that any particular person would get hit. And we're kind of seeing the end of the life of, of what was a really spectacular mission. So we wanted to follow that to its end.